Scientists say that violent video games provide opportunities for children to explore consequences of violent actions, release distress and anger in the game, leading to less real-world aggression. Well, I guess I'm all for science then. In previous episodes, we briefly talked about the gore element in Clavis, how we want it to be part of the gameplay and how it fits well in a claymation world. So this is what we're doing. Imagine you and your team travel to a planet and there's a bunch of annoying monsters. They have this super annoying gun that hurts a lot whenever it shoots you in the face. You all really hate that gun and all you want to do is to chop the monster's arm off so it doesn't shoot you anymore. So the idea is to allow players to do so with a kind of a quick time event that allows the most focused players to press a button at the right time to inflict a precision attack that chops a certain limb of the enemy. Let's say the enemy has a ranged weapon on its right arm and you chop it off. That enemy can't perform that ranged attack anymore and will be forced to use other attacks. If I chop the other arm, it's forced to use only kicks. If I chop the head, well, maybe it still leaps but lose accuracy. Or run like, what do they say? Uh, run like a headless chicken. Nobody can do it like me, nobody. In this testing environment, we haven't yet implemented the quick time event, but our hero's attacks will chop limbs randomly. So yeah, the guy shoots you with his right arm, shooting you, and you randomly chop one of his arms off, he cannot perform left arm attack anymore, and now he cannot perform the right attack, and then he's kicking you, and he's trying to escape as well, he's running away, running backwards, kicking, you keep chopping, and he's still very attached to life. Ah, uh, there you go, there you go. His head is gone in a pool of blood, and he still leaves. He has a few hit points left. There you go, he dead. Yeah, so um, yeah, he left this pool of blood here. Oh, what the hell? Vaminos indeed. Enemy parts do different abilities. To achieve this, every enemy has a definition with rules for the abilities. Every ability will trigger only if it meets its condition. Has limb? Punch left. This way every enemy will know what attack to trigger next as an alternative to their preferred attack. What we've just seen now is the ranged version of our beloved Robo Warrior. It's all work in progress and does need more walking animations. As for now, it's just moving in four directions, and I think I need eight because it looks a bit crappy right now, but we're working on them as we speak. It will have a locomotion somewhat similar to the player that will allow the ranged guy to move backwards and strafe as it repositions to avoid being too close to the heroes. The more lively the enemy looks, the more satisfying will be to chop all its limbs off. After all, it has to make me release my stress and anger, so it will certainly lead to less real-world aggression. Our idea is also to make enemies drop certain weapon blueprints in future that will facilitate the chopping, giving players the chance to craft sharper weapons or something like that using the forge located in their spaceship's lobby. Speaking of which, remember the last episode we had a look at the work-in-progress lobby? Things have changed since then and now this is what it looks like. We have added some more details and there are new crafting stations too, apart from the forge. Yeah, we keep working on these features and I can't wait to show you more and more stuff in the next videos. So that's it, I really hope you liked the episode and I wish you a great, great day. Come on, join our Discord. Don't be shy, don't be shy, 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 shy,